Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Sigma Excel's template to calculate minimum sample size for robust t-tests in ANOVA. Now, it's well known that the central limit theorem enables the t-test and ANOVA to be fairly robust to the assumption of normality. A question that invariably rises is, how large does the sample size have to be? A popular rule of thumb answer for the one sample t-test is n equals 30. While this rule of thumb often does work well, the sample size may be too large or too small depending on the degree of non-normality as measured by the skewness and kurtosis. Furthermore, it is not applicable to a one-sided t-test, two-sample t-test, or one-way ANOVA. To address this issue, we have developed a unique template that gives a minimum sample size needed for a hypothesis test to be robust. To access the template, open Sigma Excel, click on Templates and Calculators, Basic Statistical Templates, Minimum Sample Size for Robust T-Tests and ANOVA. Now you'll see that the template opens with the following default values. It includes minimum sample size for robustness for the one sample t-test, two sample t-test, and the one-way ANOVA. The user may specify the alternative hypothesis as less than one-sided, not equal to, two-sided, or greater than, one-sided. Confidence levels of 90%, 95%, or 99% may also be specified. To use the template, simply select the appropriate hypothesis test, alternative hypothesis, and confidence level using the drop-down selection. Enter skewness and kurtosis values as shown in the yellow highlighted cells. Note that in the example shown, the rule of thumb for a one sample t-test n equals 30 is confirmed with a moderate skew value of 1. Now we'll change the alternative hypothesis to less than, and we'll change the confidence level to 99%. After doing this, we can see the minimum sample size required for robustness has been changed to 752. On the other hand, if you want to perform a standard one-way ANOVA, enter the values as shown. Select three sample one-way ANOVA, an alternative hypothesis of not equal to, confidence level of 95%, and we can see that the minimum sample size for each sample or group has been changed to three. This value applies to each sample or group. So for the three sample ANOVA, that would mean that each sample has n equals three, making the total number of required observations nine. Note that this calculator is strictly addressing the question of alpha robustness to non-normality. Power is not considered here. If the minimum sample size requirement cannot be met, you should use a non-parametric equivalent to the parametric hypothesis test. For example, a one sample Siner Wilcoxon, two sample Man Whitney, Kruska Wallace, or a Moods Median. These tools can be accessed by opening Sigma Excel, selecting statistical tools, and uh, taking the cursor down to non-parametric tests. Sample skewness and kurtosis values can be obtained from Sigma Excel's descriptive statistics, accessible by selecting Sigma Excel, statistical tools, and descriptive statistics. A slight skew is plus or minus 0.5, a moderate skew is plus or minus 1, a severe skew is plus or minus 2, and an extreme skew is plus or minus 5. The skewness range used should be minus 5 to plus 5. Values beyond this range are extrapolated so may be inaccurate. The calculator assumes that all samples have the same skewness and kurtosis. Minimum sample size for robustness occurs when the simulated observed alpha is within plus or minus 20% of the specified alpha. Thanks for watching and I'm happy to let you know that all of our sample size templates are now available for the iPad and iPhone using the Numbers app.